The City of Fredericksburg established an Arts and Cultural District incentive program to promote the arts in the City of Fredericksburg. On this week's edition, we're going to tell you more about this program. This week, we're going to be talking to a local artist and a local business owner about an incentive program that's geared toward promoting the arts in the City of Fredericksburg. So it's not only art-related businesses that can participate in this Arts and Cultural District Incentive Program. It's also local businesses that are within the Arts and Cultural District that display local art and exhibit local art and sell local art on a rotating basis. And one of those participants is Brian Lamb, who owns Collage Spa, where we're sitting right now at uh, 804 Charles Street. And Brian's participated in this program for a number of years. And Brian, thanks for joining us and hosting us. Thanks for having us, yeah. Um, I really love this program to support local artists. Uh, I also think it really lends a lot to the business and I think our um, customers really like to see local art and we've actually had a couple of sales um, throughout the year so it's really quite exciting. So we're sitting here and there's a piece right behind us that's an example of, uh, of the, the art that you display and you sell here at Collage. So. Uh, and you've got these these pieces kind of all over the spa? Yeah, it's uh, quite great. I think when we um, renovated into our new location here at Charles Street, um, I asked a few artists that I thought would lend to the space. This one's Caroline Murphy. We also have Pete Morlevich, Sarah Lapp as well. So we just kind of display them. And as a business person, I think it's great to support local artists, but it's also nice to have beautiful art too in our space that we're that they're lending to us essentially. Have you found this to be a relatively easy program to be part of? Oh yeah, um, I think when I started my business it was just an application um, just to send in and you just have to do it yearly, make sure you meet the deadlines. Well you have a beautiful building here, uh, you've done a beautiful renovation and having all this beautiful local artwork for sale just accentuates what you've done here. So. Um, Kudos to you and glad you're part of the program. Yeah, thank you. All right. One of the participants in this program is Pete Morilevich, who's the owner of Print Jazz at Liberty Town uh, Arts Workshop. Um, Pete's a very talented artist and he uh, participates in the Arts and Culture District program. So Pete, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Bill. Yeah. So just talk a little bit about um, how the program has benefited your business. Um, well, it has given me venues to show art. Um, a lot of artists, um, you know, perhaps they're, they have studios at Liberty Town or Canal Court or somewhere around town, but a lot of artists kind of toil on their own in a home studio. And to have a place that their artwork can be shown, enjoyed by the public, I mean, we don't just make it for ourselves, we make it to be seen. And for having businesses um, to be able to show that is paramount. Have you found it to be a fairly easy program to be part of? Absolutely. Filled out the application and sent it in and that was it. So you might be familiar with Pete's work. He's, uh, his art is on display at a lot of businesses downtown. So um, Pete, tell us a little bit about uh, your, the business, the type of art that you do and where people can see your work. Sure. Um, I do a lot of digital art um, and a lot of it is Fredericksburg centric. Um, probably the largest piece that people might be familiar with is at uh, Blue Cow Ice Cream. So how can people find out more about Print Jazz? Well, they can come by my studio at Liberty Town Arts or at printjazz.com. Glad that you're participating in the program and glad that you're in the city of Fredericksburg. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Pete. Thanks, Bill. Thanks to Brian and Pete for their time today. If you're interested in finding out more about this program, you can go to fxbgedt.com and look under resources for the Arts and Cultural District. Uh, there's a few requirements. Uh, you have to be in the district itself and you have to either be an artist or an art related business or display uh, and sell art of local artists on a rotating basis. So um, be sure to check out our website and find out more about this program. And we encourage the arts in the city. We welcome all arts related businesses and we encourage uh, local businesses to display the, the great work of our talented artists. So that's it for this week's edition. Thanks for watching.